good night to everyone uh, thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel learn to well myself dr d kartika department of commerce ca uh, dr sns rajalakshmi college of arts and science uh, <clears throat> previously we were discussing about the uh, auditing origin everything in your uh, playlist already i have given you with the two videos and the next one is regarding the purpose of the auditing shall we enter into the purpose it's very interesting to know about the purpose of your auditing the purpose of auditing is encompasses several key objectives that contribute to the integrity and transparency of the financial reporting and organizational operations that is the first one is regarding your assurance so the assurance gives it gives an assurance to the stakeholders including the investors creditors management and regulatory authorities or regarding the reliability and creditability of the financial information by independently verifying the financial statements uh, auditors enhance confidence in the accuracy and fairness of the information presented and uh, uh, next one is regarding your compliance so you can understand the compliance is nothing but the auditing ensures that the compliance with the relevant laws regulations and accounting standards the auditors assess whether financial statements adhere to the generally accepted accounting principle as you know that is your gap and international financial uh, international financial reporting standards that is your ifrs and other regulatory requirements specified to the industry or jurisdiction so when we fulfill this gap and ifrs automatically uh, the customers they will be believing that the audited reports gives a uh proper it is bided with the proper laws regulations and the accounting standards and then next one is your deduction of the errors and fraud i mean we are uh, discussing about the objectives of the organization we was very well understanding that now auditing us main objectives to deduct the errors and your fraud so we can have to understand that we are examining all your financial records internal controls and by way of deducting the errors irregularities or all other fraudulent activities so through this uh, substantive techniques uh, testing and analysis auditors identify discrepancies inconsistencies or instances of the material mismanagement that may indicate the fraud or the mis and the next purpose is for your risk management uh, are we all able to understand the very uh, interesting and as well as very challenging concept is your risk management the auditing helps identify and assess the risk associated with the financial reporting internal control and business operations so by evaluating control weakness uh, vulnerabilities and areas of potential fraud or errors auditors assess management in mitigating the risk and enhancing the organizational resilience and next one is your operational improvement auditors provide recommendations for improving your uh, internal control process efficiency based on their findings during their audit so their recommendations aim to strengthen the governance structures enhance your operational efficiencies and optimizes the resources utilization within your organization next purpose is to uh, investor protection the auditing plays a crucial role in protecting interests of the investors and stakeholders by providing an independent assessment of the entity financial performance and financial health transparent and reliable financial reporting facilitated by the auditing contributes to the market confidence and investor trust and the next purpose is for your corporate governance that is auditing not only contribute towards your internal purpose even to the external that is to your good corporate governance practices by promoting accountability transparency and ethical behavior within the organization uh, through their oversight role auditors help uphold integrity and ethical standards in financial reporting and business conduct uh, thank you so much for uh, watching your uh, my youtube channel here still now we have discussed about your uh, definition origin and what are the objectives main objectives of deducting the various uh, frauds and errors other than that how to rectify various errors and i have clearly pointed out what are the various uh, types of errors like your uh, compensating errors and everything and how we are going to or your one sided errors and uh, how to deduct those errors and how we are going to rectify those errors in your future also 
so same way uh, we have discussed the enough about the purpose i mean which for which we are going for the uh, <clears throat> auditing so at uh, the last also we have discussed about the corporate governance there i have mentioned very clearly about your transparency ethical standard or your behavior of your organization so what happens in this is automatically we can uh, understand that we are gaining the uh, trust of our customers not only the customers all the third parties who are involved up in ourselves that like your bankers your uh, tax uh, tax authorities every your government everyone will believing that you have followed a proper standard you are given with your proper principles everything when you are giving the auditor accounts properly yearly once we have to do with this auditor uh, transactions and present it before all your customers so it will improve your ethical behavior automatically the customers will be um, loyal towards your organization thank you again we will be uh, moving on moving on with your next topic please keep in touch thank you